Welcome students. Let us learn today about esophagus and that is food bite. This topic is under second chapter nutrition in animals. So the swallowed food passes into the food pipe or esophagus. We have learned that first we are chewing the food particles and food substance into our mouth. The saliva will get mixed with the food and then we are slowly swallowing the food. Now it goes through the food pipe and which connects it to the stomach. So here food is pushed down by the movement of the wall of the food pipe. So this kind of movement we can see in food pipe. So part by part the food is going to the stomach. This movement which happens throughout the alimentary canal and throughout while we are eating the food that is known as peristalsis or peristalsis. So this happens in alimentary canal. Part by part food will pass through the food pipe and will go to the stomach. Sometimes the food is not accepted by the stomach and we vomit it out. This is the reverse process. While we are eating the food, part by part we are taking it in. But in vomit the reverse process will happen and food will come out. Now why the vomit will happen? Because this is body's way of reading itself of harmful substance from the stomach. When we are eating something bad or eating something infectious, that infection will come into the stomach. So stomach wants to get rid of this infection. That will come out. So how this will happen? So major muscles of neck and abdomen and chest wall and abdominal muscle all will contract at the same time. While they will contract, all of this muscle will contract at the same time and it will put the pressure on the stomach and the reverse process will happen and we will vomit out all the infection, all the bad food particle and stomach will get rid of the bad stuff. So that is how the vomit will happen.